Hi guys and welcome back to Amelia Tutorials. So this video we decided to go back to the basic once again and show you uh, the basic principle of how Amelia works. As you know, Amelia is an uh, appointment scheduling and event booking uh, plugin. And in this video we are going to show you how it is that uh, appointments are booked through Amelia and show you how your customers can book and also how you can book from the back end in case you have a phone call or an emergency appointment that you want to book uh, straight through the back end of Amelia. So without further ado, let's just dive right in. Okay, so <clears throat> if we're looking at the Amelia booking form, this is what the customers see. So they choose a service, they choose if they're going to bring anyone with them, if the service accepts uh, more than one person. So basically this is how it works. Customer chooses a service. If there are multiple employees assigned to the service, there's also going to be an employee selection. And if there are multiple locations, that's also going to be displayed here. So once you select the service, you select the date and you select the time. When you click on continue, you enter the name. So let's say video testing, some email, And these are two custom fields which you can see are optional. Also, the phone number is optional. Only these with the, these asterisks are mandatory fields. So we can skip the option and the attachment custom fields. And we just click on confirm. If it's a paid um, service that's supposed to be paid online, you will be taken to either uh, the PayPal window or through Molly or to the WooCommerce card or in Stripe, you would just enter the card details. But this is a, an on-site payment, so it's simply booked. In the back end, we can refresh this screen to see the newly created appointment. And as you can see in here, there is one out of three spots available. You can edit the appointment and see who booked it. You can change it. You can uh, I mean, you can change the date, the time, uh, you can uh, see the payment details. So if this went through online payment, you would see not on site, but one of the uh, online on site, uh, one of the payment options. And of course, you can uh, fill the uh, custom fields. Attachment field is not available from the back end, only from the front end. But you would be able to change this appointment, for example, to select option one or two or both. Um, what I wanted to show you is booking an appointment from the back end. Now, if we choose uh, the same, let's say this one, a test customer, and we choose the same service, which is 50 minutes, the same employee, which is Amelia test. And basically we can try to book an appointment for tomorrow at the same time, but it's not available. This is often uh, confusing for our customers because they are trying to create a new appointment and add people because there are two spots left. So if you want to add more people to this appointment at the same time, you basically need to edit the appointment and add the customers through here. So here's the customer number one added and now you can click on save. Basically, you will see that the spots changed from one out of three to two out of three. And now on the front end, when we go back to Amelia booking and we try to book the same appointment, we will be able to do that as a customer. So looking at this as a customer, this time slot is available. But if you try to create a new appointment at this same for the same service at the same date and at the same time, you won't be able to. Now, another thing here is if you select two people or in this case, one additional person that's going to accompany you, the 10 a.m. slot is missing because that would go over these maximum capacity of three. So when we disable it, you can see that the 10 a.m. time slot is back. So booking an appointment from the back end for a different uh, service it goes like this. You select the service, you select the employee. If there's a coupon, you can apply it. For example, this is 100% discount coupon that we've created previously. And here you can select the, the date and the time when this customer is going to attend the 30 minutes appointment. Now, when you click on save, 
it'll just add the appointment to your schedule. Another thing here worth mentioning is that when you're creating an appointment, uh, just a sec, when did I book this? It's on 19th, yeah, here it is. Yeah, one thing what I wanted to say about booking an appointment is that if you want to allow your administrators to book outside of your employees' working hours, you can go to role settings and under admin, allow admin to book appointment at any time. So when we do this and we go back to appointments, before I refresh the page, I just want to show you that this employee currently has working hours from 7 a.m. if I'm not mistaken. Uh, it's already applied. So here you can see that it goes from midnight until the next day because we've enabled the uh, ability for the admin to book appointment at any time. So when this is enabled, you can choose time slots throughout the whole day, any day. And that's uh, if you want to, for example, uh, create an appointment outside of your employees working hours, this is how you're, you can do that. So just uh, allow the administrator to book the appointment at any time. And that's basically it. Great. Thank you, Alexander. And You're thank welcome. you guys for watching. I hope this video helps you and shows you the basic booking process of Amelia and all of the features that you can use in it, like uh, additional people, online payments, everything. If you have any questions or want us to show you a certain booking process or any other feature, please leave those down below in the comments. And while you're there, don't forget to like, share, and subscribe. Thank you guys for watching. Take care, guys. Bye-bye. Bye-bye.